It's been a while since I posted about bikes and I recently traded my Sportster in and I got ST, Lowrider ST. So um, I'm just gonna do a simple, probably quick little video. We're moving the reflectors right now. And uh, a cool little trick I'm gonna show you guys on the bag when I get to that, but I'll probably set my phone up and uh, remove the front one, pull the bag off, remove the fender one, and um, go from there, but yeah. The Rider SC 2023. Placed the order like six weeks ago and it finally came in to Lancaster um, Harley Davidson. And um, there it is. I like to use just string, makes it super easy, especially if the bike's new, way easier. And you might have to use heat if your bike's uh, older, but this only has a few miles on it, so it should be fine. But yeah, basically just get the string, grab it on the top of the reflector. You could also use fishing line, but I feel like the fishing line just digs into your hands and hurts a lot more. But I'm gonna squeeze this in between here. There it goes. And kind of just Literally just like that, there you go. Boom, off. Didn't leave any residue, nothing. Again, this is bike's brand new, it has three miles on it. So probably could be a lot easier than someone's bike that's been out in the sun, but you get the kind of idea. And I'll show you the rear right now as well. You guys just saw the front, the rear. It's gonna take you a little bit more time just because it's on plastic versus the metal. Um, but after we get this off, I will show you how to get off the residue, if any residue even comes off. But same thing, just keep your string in there. And just slowly pull it. Try to pull away. And you guys can definitely use heat and I would recommend using heat, but uh, it's pretty warm in here right now. Be, be patient with it. He will definitely help, but. Okay. They're really not that on, that well on here. I'm just being patient with it. And you don't want to pull it this way because you might dig that edge in. So just use your string or your fishing line or whatever and kind of cut the tape. Like that. Come in this way. Maybe not. Okay. There we go. Okay. So now that's off there, but we have this. So I'll get off with my fingernails, just the bigger stuff. And then I'll show you this cool trick. So that's kind of on there like that. As you can see, oh, is that a focus? It's like that. What you do is you take a rubber valve stem, the, the edge is rubber, put it into a drill, and watch how cool this is. Kind of get the idea. Well, not really, but it will get off all the big pieces, and you do that like twice, 
and we'll basically take it all off. So I'm gonna try to set my phone up in a different angle and um, to have two hands to actually do this. You also don't want to stay in one area um, for a long period of time. This really doesn't get hot, but um, you just don't want to mess your paint up. Perfect. Basically, again, I'm gonna repeat the same thing, get this one off. There you go, though. Quick little setup. Pretty pretty easy. And, um, yeah, I'll tell you, that's the first thing to do on any bike when you first get it. Remove all that junk. Which makes it look way better.